Okay, hello, everyone. So, very interesting topic that we have today, but basically, it was kind of speculated a while ago that Trisha Paytas was going to be doing um, a stream or a stream of, you know, videos or a podcast or some sort of work project, right, with Colleen Ballinger. And it has now been confirmed. So people were trying to figure out whether it was going to be Colleen Ballinger, whether it was going to be someone else. So I'm just making sure I'm on the right mic setting. Yeah, I was. Perfect. People were trying to figure out whether it was Colleen Ballinger, whether it was someone else. Um, Trisha has now confirmed uh, that it is, in fact, Colleen Ballinger. Now, I'm going to listen to Trisha's announcement of it, and then I'm going to tell you a fun little story, a little behind-the-scenes story, um, and then show you some proof um, to kind of end off the stream, or to end off the section, right? So I think this is a really interesting thing. So obviously, Trisha Paytas and podcasts in general, they never really last, um, but Trisha Paytas and podcasts with other people, I love, because it always ends in disaster. I mean, let's let's look at this here. Whenever she did podcasts with Shane, let's, how, how that turned out. When she did them with Ryland, that was the ending of her and Ryland's friendship and her and Jeffrey's friendship. When she did it with Ethan, <laughs> do I even need to say? Um, so whenever she was saying... Um, that, you know, about, you know, this new one, people were really trying to figure out who it was going to be, right? So we're going to watch Trisha talk about it and let, let her kind of speak for herself. But basically, I thought that Colleen was smarter than to not do a podcast with Trisha. And the reason for that was because Colleen knows what comes with Trisha Paytas. Colleen knows you know, about Trisha Paytas. These are things that, these were actually conversations I had with her. And I'm going to reference a conversation in particular that I had with her and the specific day in a second. But Colleen was always aware that she should keep Trisha at a distance. The reason for this was because she always knew that if she kept Trisha at a distance, Trisha would never turn on her, but Trisha would always do dirty work if she needed her to. So referencing something else, Whenever Colleen Ballinger was going through her divorce with her ex-husband, Josh, she kind of befriended Trisha, kind of predominantly during this time, and was, well, she told me, I don't know if it was true, she was telling me that she was telling Trisha stuff about Josh, the same way she was telling me stuff about Josh during the divorce, which is kind of creepy, because I was literally like 13 years old, but whatever, you know, as a little divorce counselor, and I slayed my job at it, um, never been in a relationship, never kissed someone, but I was giving, you know, a 30-something-year-old woman, or very late 20-year-old, you know, woman um divorce advice i was very good at my job um but anyway i remember um her talking about telling trisha about josh and stuff because josh was starting to get very outspoken against colleen on social media right and then josh got the wrath of trisha paytas when she then you know dragged him on instagram stories and came for him quite harsh and we'll get to this and basically the reason that this was made was because apparently you know colleen was feeding her this information behind the scenes i have no proof on that the only proof that i have on that was that colleen was also doing the same thing to me at that time and at that stage she would have been a closer friend with trisha than she would have been with me so i can only imagine what she was telling trisha so i know that this was a conversation that was happening right so i find it funny and quite interesting career move that Colleen, something has switched that she's now going to professionally do something with Trisha, especially being a podcast, which with Trisha Paytas is very cursed, considering that was always her attitude with Trisha. And it was always Colleen's friend Corey's attitude as well, which was that they were scared that she was going to turn on her or, or that she was going to make videos on her. And I think maybe because they see Trisha as like this, you know, mother role now that that's, you know, not something that Trisha would do. We'll see. And I'll be waiting with my popcorn. Um, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. All right. So let's watch this. And by the way, I'm, I've never been more excited for something. Another Trisha Paytas podcast with someone who openly behind the scenes has not liked her. This is going to be the most marvelous thing of my entire life. Anyway, let's get to it. Nap, which is one of my favorite things to do on my birthday and a holiday. I love to take a little nap, see poo. Um, I've just been kind of sleeping like a little off lately. I don't know why. Because Malibu's been sleeping through the night. Moses has been sleeping through the night. Like, I'm just up really late, which is not, like, it's really unusual for me. Because I'm not like to stay up late. And then I'm, like, up at, like, 5.30. So I'm not really sure why, but 
so i'm trying to like clear my mind and stuff i feel like my mind's been a little overloaded lately just with random stuff um but here is a sneak peek of the podcast um yeah the podcast is called oversharing and it's going to be so the podcast is called oversharing which is probably like the 10th podcast i think i've ever seen being called that but i'm not gonna diss that so here we're seeing the setup so it is called oversharing and we have this like glittery background we have two red chairs me and colleen and we're literally just doing it ourselves like here in our basement but how pretty is this this gives me like broadway vibes i always love this it also reminds me of like the sparklets water truck um so i'm super super excited moses set this whole thing up like it's amazing it's so good like he's amazing um but anyways there's me more moses back to work as always how about that literally in a day go subscribe it's a new channel it's called oversharing with Colleen and Trish and yeah we're gonna do a little bit of touch-ups right now to do a little touch-up on the hair so we're gonna watch this for like two minutes because she goes on to talk about like why she wants to do this podcast because she's like loving you know female energy I don't think Adam knows that Ethan called him a bottom feeder today I mean I wouldn't argue with that so but I slept on it. I honestly did not think I was going to sleep. Um, Mavie went down for a big nap. She got up also at 5.30 today, um, which is kind of rare for her. Actually, she got like 6. I was up at like 5.30. Okay. So then, you know, it rolls around bedtime, and you're just like, okay, I'm kind of up. I've also been drinking iced tea a lot, like a lot of iced tea. She like, does get to it. We hardcore on that. I was like not drinking Starbucks, caffeine. Like I was very, to do too much. I just, of love. Mm -hmm. It's after this. Okay. Yeah, these cameos are really fun. I try to make them all really unique and special. And yeah. Like I said, I actually don't know how much longer I'm going to do cameos. Like, I'd love to do them. But I do find myself, like, already getting busier. Like, just with projects again, which I really need to tone down. Like, now I'm, like, I'm trying to feel like I'm doing, trying to do it so much. And I'm still, like, trying to write a one-woman show with the documentary. This new podcast, I'm still going to do my other, I have, like, other podcasts that I had talked about with another co-host. Um, So I'm still going to do those. Like, I'm still going to do, like, so much stuff. And I'm just, like, maybe I just need to, like, chill and rewind again. But I'm super excited with the one Colleen. We are shooting it tomorrow. And I'm so excited because we're, like, glamming and we're dressing up in costume and we're going to do TikToks. And it's, like, just, I'm just really excited because it's almost like getting to know each other podcasts. Like, you know, we've known each other for so long, but we've never had like super deep conversations i mean we have but like like it's always like you know just like other people around like this is like gonna be like a really like get to know you podcast or get to know each other and i'm really excited we have had you know about and not just about motherhood by the way i think a lot of people are like oh man i don't want to get you to talk about moms we're definitely not so she's trying to recreate frenemies i mean it sounds like it when she's talking about like costumes and making tiktoks and stuff this is like how she did with frenemies but anyway we'll let her finish not just talking about that for sure it's kind of like prevalent to like me right now and her right now because we have such young babies but um it's definitely not going to be just that but i, I think mean that is something they both have in common they they both said that they weren't going to exploit their babies and we have such similar and also such so. different we're like so similar and so different and i think that's like such a beautiful thing and i'm really excited to be around female energy okay. all the podcasts i've done this year have been female energy i've done julia fox's megan trainers trash tuesday which is esther annie and never had deep combos because colleen never let her talk oh my god i forgot that they made a video recently where they were doing a mukbang and i made a video on it um it's actually one of my favorite videos i've made I watched this stream that they both made together and Colleen like one up Trisha the entire time and like the video was called like talking about Trisha Paytas's birth story and Trisha didn't get a word in for for Colleen trying to one up her and stuff like that and the reason for it is because Colleen does not like Trisha well I, she could have it could have changed it could have changed but I mean there was some passionate conversations I had with her about Trisha so Kalila and I just really love that lately since I don't know since being a mom I feel comforted by female energy and female energy doesn't always mean cis born females I mean in this case they are but um you know just just the feminine energy I used to like tap really hard into a masculine energy and I I don't know I just I, I've been into this feminine energy and again it doesn't mean I identify female or male it's just the energy if that makes sense okay I gotta do some cameras I'm blabbing and um yeah then we're gonna go to the mall okay so I wanted to let this play first i wanted to let this play and kind of hear her you know take on it um all right so um what i want to get to first i'll get to this one first okay so here's a little story if we all want a little story so um this video the 6th of december 2016 i vividly remember 
on some social media platform, it may have, I don't know if it was Twitter, I don't know if it was, you know, Snapchat, I don't know if it was whatever, Instagram, I don't know what it was, right? I don't know what it was. Okay. And it was that Trisha came over this day and that they got so much backlash from it, Colleen and Corey, um, for having Trisha over. And I mean, right before Trisha came over this time, the, the, okay, I'll be nice. I'll be nice. Okay. I'll be nice and not start what I could start. But what I will say is I remember that at this stage that this video was posted, the day before the organizing of this you know, meeting with Trisha, the conversations behind the scenes were not that positive of Trisha from Colleen. Not very positive. And the conversations after, because Colleen got a lot of backlash from her audience um, for having Trisha, a lot of people were like, here's these videos of Trisha, here's these whatever, like, why would you platform this person or whatever? And they were basically saying how, like, Trisha is such a, I don't know if, I, okay, Allegedly, the conversation was that whenever someone is a loose cannon, it's good to keep them at a close distance and not just like talk to them over text, but also allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Anyway, so here was around that date that this conversation was happening. Which just for me, oh Jesus, um, just for me, the full conversation of the podcast is, it just makes me giggle, giggle. You know what I mean? It makes me giggle, giggle. Cause I mean, there was just so much, you know, conversation about Trisha behind the scenes. <laughs> Trisha made it! Bye. So I watched this and I'm like, this was so fake. <laughs> uh, she almost didn't because I gave her the wrong address. <laughs> and I went to that person's house and I was like, hi. And then it was She was like, is Colleen here? And they're like, what are you talking Can about? Can I be 100% honest? I literally thought you were like, like pranking me, like making a joke <laughs> on me. I did. I was like, oh my God, it's like mean girls. Like they're like making fun of me. <laughs> Okay, actually, um, everything I'm saying kind of just solidifies itself with the energy here. <laughs> I'm all the way out here. I'm like, <laughs> no, for real, because it took me like, it was a traffic, it was like 5 o'clock on a Monday, and I was just like, oh my god, they pranked me, they're making fun of me, and I thought that was like... Okay, actually, Trisha spoke for me there, I actually don't need to say anything. <laughs> oh my god, Trisha! That's hilarious, that's what my head would have gone to. So we are doing sugar cookies, Trisha's never done it before, and you're getting better. Better, let's do it! Well, that was pretty good, but there was one that like straight up just looks like a really crusty dick that she made that's like... <laughs> Is it? Okay, I wanna see it. It looks like a veiny peen. Okay, <laughs> we are having so much fun talking, and uh, we're making cookies, and look, they're kinda cute. Well, like, they kinda look horrible, but like... The cute, the cute ones are Corey's, and the ugly ones are mine and Trisha's. Yeah, no, no, that one's questionable. Wait, wait, where's this is? Is this? I like can't stress you enough how like uh, I cannot stress you enough how like I actually like Trisha Paytas is not someone that I enjoy, but I feel bad for her when I watch this clip because she seems so happy to be there. She seems so excited to be there, and they did not like her. They did not like her. I remember Colleen would like go on her vlogs and would be like, oh, like here I am getting ready watching Trisha's video or here I am listening to Trisha's music. Like I love Trisha so much and all like that. And it was because around this time was whenever she was going through the divorce with Josh. And I mean, again, if it, if it lines up with mine, Trisha was such, you know, a loose cannon when it came to talking about Sean, her ex at that time or whoever it was. Um, that, you know, Trisha and Lane were, were, you know, it was talking about Josh and it was able, like that, again, for that, take what I said there with a pinch of salt. I'm literally just comparing that to timelines and what I was told. And then Trisha going on this rampage with, um, Josh. And I've actually had a conversation with Josh about this and he was saying about timelines that he has. But what I will say that I do know is that around this time was whenever they were actively, like, making fun of Trish. It was her and Corey that were making fun of Trish. And this is the only two you've done? <laughs> so watching this like makes me feel bad for Trish, which I really wouldn't say. <laughs> <laughs> my cat just got into the Trisha Paytas 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 Trisha John, let's just do the chorus. Hey, Trish, come get in. Okay, can I you can, you can be a part your... of the group, too? Yeah. <laughs> Trisha says, can I pretend to be a part of the group? Yeah. We're just going to do the chorus. Okay. 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 What, what's your group name? 
Ooh, Ooh. Yeah. Queen. Yeah, they sing. The four queens. The four queens. Oh, no, no, queen no. Heart. I'll be the clubs, diamonds, and. Six. No, she's gonna be diamonds. Okay. Okay, okay. your heart. Okay, your heart. Yeah. She's diamonds. I'm. What are my clubs? Yeah. You're a spade, girl. You're a spade. That's good. That's cute. I like okay, that. Okay, I'll check it. <laughs> when I was young, and then we. Sorry, Trisha just, it looks like Trisha's like photoshopped in here. Love's just fun. Those days are gone. This makes me feel bad for Trish. Alright, so anyway, and then the final thing I wanted to touch on was so basically the stories of, you know, Colleen keeping Trish at a distance. So or keeping Trish close enough, but at a distance, so Trisha would never turn on Colleen, but Colleen could, you know, use Trish for the divorce thing, because Trish was very, you know, someone who would speak out against, you know, her partners and stuff like that. So here's that timeline, whenever she was speaking out around, um, at Colleen's ex-husband, Josh. So here we where go. Where it's not even... So here's proof of this as well. I don't even know if it's real. I, I, I think half of it's real. I think half of it is fabricated. I think Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I mean, that's 100% what this gives. That's why I'm so excited to watch this podcast. That's why I'm so excited to watch this podcast. People play, they're, they're using you for... I mean, also, hasn't Trisha literally went on record saying that she um, was, like, nervous whenever she, like, meets Colleen? I think she said that in that podcast. Again, don't know if I'm misquoting there, but I'm pretty sure I remember hearing that. The recent one. <laughs> Oh my god, your girl doesn't give a shit anymore, but I swear to god, when Joshua DTV <laughs> makes a video saying they're using you for views by talking about drama, you broke up two years ago and still talk about your drama. So whenever I hear Trisha say this, I'm like, oh, this is how I acted whenever I was like derangedly acting on Twitter, defending Colleen and bullying her ex-husband, because this is exactly how I acted. I don't know what age I was, 2016 or something like that, I was like, or 20... 17, 18, or whatever. Jesus, I don't know what age I was. Like, 15, 6, I don't even know. Um, but anyway, this is exactly how I acted, which is why I know that the, the timelines match up, which is which then goes to show the keep your enemies close and, you know, your or keep your friends close and your enemies closer links up here. And I hope Trisha knows that she's being absolutely used. But I don't think she cares. <laughs> I have old. female energy, you know what I mean? Literally nothing against Josh. Met him one time, perfectly fine. I don't know the history. I, I don't care <laughs> because it happened two years ago, but this guy like literally just dragged and dragged his relationship and his current one for views. So if you are somebody who puts your life out there and exploits your relation. Oh, and also I remember specifically, this is what this is reminding me of. I remember Corey or Colleen having a conversation with like our group of, you know, fans about how Josh proposed with like the same ring that he gave Colleen or something and she was she or Corey was making fun of him for it and then whenever I saw Trisha talk about it in this I was like oh she was told as well relationship and your breakup years after something even happened you one of those two boo you are don't say you were a part of that you are a part of it you are the king of it this poor guy was so bullied online on Instagram but come on oh come on this coming from somebody who proposed with the same ring. Now, how would Trish know that? How would we know that? Who told us that? <laughs> he, his ex-wife wore. Posted a close-up of his fiance's new thing, wedding engagement ring. Who cares? Ring that was the same wedding ring that his ex-wife wore throughout their marriage. Sorry, I'm sorry. This all holier than thou complex that these bullshit YouTubers have is so fucking annoying. But when it's him, I, I don't give a shit. This is fucking crazy. My whole channel has been my life, my real life, for better or for worse. And if someone doesn't like it, just keep your fucking mouth shut. Jesus Christ, it's not that hard. Don't say, I don't, we don't need drama on YouTube. And then you are the drama and you are bringing up the drama. This boy needs views, and the only way he gets it is through some dramatic title. <laughs> I you know what I'm saying? Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm not about causing shit with just random people, especially people who just like keep their mouths closed or whatever. But this guy's so fucking fake. I just, I like, I like, literally made. And how would Trisha know that he was fake? Who would be feeding him that information? One might ask.
See, I really don't even need to be saying anything. I can just like, there's so much to, you know what I mean? My blood boy watching this video. Maybe crazy and hyper emotional, over emotional, and I get really heartbroken really easily, but fuck me if I'm gonna be posting about the same fucking heartbreak two and a half years later. Ironic with Jason, but. Fuck. Like, here she is, Trisha, on her story, for someone who doesn't care enough about this, is posting pictures from Colleen's Instagram and then pictures of Josh's new wife's ring being like the same ring. Like, why would you care this much? Because you were being fed the information. Because that's what you're used for. I'm sorry, that is such a mean, harsh thing to say. But it's the truth. I mean, it was also how I was treated, Trish. Twinsies! Twinsies! Trisha, the difference between both of us is I don't let her still do it to me. You let her walk all over you, still. I mean, again, woman power, so... <laughs> This is so bizarre. Here's the thing. You're going to be talking about people and... And you know what the worst thing is? I remember watching this in the moment and being like, yes, Trish. Yes, Trish. And now I'm like, oh my God. Time and place. Very embarrassing. Not mentioning their channels, but still talking about them. Like, own your shit. Don't be a little bitch about it. Ooh. I genuinely want to talk crap on someone. I'm going to say their name. Like, I'm not going to be a little punk about it. You know what I mean? Like, if it's something so stupid... You know what I mean? Like... This is why I don't call out specific people, but this time, like, fake, fake, fake. Don't use YouTube drama as your title if you don't want to be in the YouTube drama. Put my shit out there and anyone can comment, but are you going to be a hypocrite? I'll call your shit out. They know that you are moldable. Your brain is moldable. They can manipulate. They can twist your <laughs> minds. Because you're, you're young and, and, and you want to oh be entertained. And shut the you, fuck up. And you want to be entertained and you believe what you hear. They're using you. Oh my god. And it's um it's frustrating to see Sociopath. All these oh, that's Shane Dawson's friend, alright. Yeah, this just is so funny to me. This is just like cause I was told the same thing. This is exactly how it happened with me. I mean, I'm just watching Trisha fall down the same trap that I fell down, but it's like it's crazy to let Trisha like didn't acknowledge that that's happening to her and just moves on, I guess. If clout presents itself, then just run with it. But like, oh, it's taking everything inside of me to not say things I know. There we go. Confirmed. Trisha, that's all you were used for. You were used so that you would make videos like this. And that's still what you're used to as. They just make fun of you. I don't know if they do now. I'm not going to say they make fun of you now. But all I will say is that they... Oof. But this guy is... The reason he thinks this and says this because he's a manipulator. He's like an actual sociopath no josh there are human beings that share their actual feelings let it out and move on then there are people like you who know that's all they have going for them so they keep it going and manipulate literally this sounds like the scariest craziest person i've ever seen in my life like who thinks that way who says that they're using you like Someone's feelings and real life emotions are are using people. I have never been so heated, but I'll why? I get it, cause I was as well in that moment. But, but there was a very different age between me doing it in that moment and Trish doing it in that moment. Like, what age would Trisha have been in two thousand seventeen? Late twenties, early thirties. Girl, I was like. 15, 16. I'm excusing mine on being young and naive. What are you blaming this on? You just got walked all over. <laughs> also, like, I see someone very disturbed. That's obviously, like, a master manipulator. And this is, like, I, I'm, like, I can't watch it. I'm six minutes in. I, like, it's making my blood boil. It is okay, you guys, to express your feelings and emotions. It is okay to do it on whatever platform you have. I have had a YouTube channel for 12 years. I have had maybe 20 videos on my feelings and emotions and drama yeah it makes me sad that's a good point i mean shane was you know talking shit about trisha behind her back jeffrey was i mean colleen was too they all were and i i like at, at my core i do feel bad for trish that like in the youtube world i mean she has very few friends who all talk shit about her but i mean i will say in colleen's case it was a case of colleen was talking shit about her because you know she in a weird way she like didn't want to be talked shit about so it was like and she was getting so much... So the thing was, Colleen was getting so much backlash for hanging out with Trish 
that behind the scenes she was, you know, kind of agreeing with people who were not liking Trish, but then friends with Trish, so she was playing both sides. But yeah, I mean, I, I at my core, I do feel bad for her that like all of her YouTube people were talking shit about her I have and over using 3, her. Thousand videos online, twenty five or less of those videos had to do with how I was feeling. A lot of those have since been deleted. Yours haven't. When I get over a breakup, I'll delete them. I'll, I'll be like, it got off my chest, delete. When you've made the money on them, sure. Oshawa DTV keeps up all his about divorce, healing, pain. I shouldn't be telling you this. All these clickbait drama titles he still has up. That's minute. That's that's a crazy person. Built my platform out of love, and out of people like Trisha. I built my platform out of love. Okay. Growing with me and like being with me all on right. a journey, and so I share my feelings and emotions, and there is nothing wrong with that. Whatever channel he's talking about, all the channels he's talking about, whatever. If I want to share my feelings and how I'm feeling, that's not manipulating an audience. If I want to manipulate an audience, I want to if I want to manipulate an audience, this is what you do. <laughs> put up a video of me yelling at jason or me calling us both fat like i wouldn't put up those videos what uh -uh. <laughs> all right so there we go i'm gonna end it there but i just think it's funny hearing her talk about how excited she is for this female empowerment podcast with colleen where you know they're gonna be like besties together and i'm like girl if only you knew but i mean she does know because i mean there's so many things where she was doing clean sturdy work guilty as well guilty as well well good luck trish enjoy your podcast can't wait to watch